Welcome to Agron Infotech. Today I shall introduce with another important research technique for series of experiments that is combined analysis of variance. In this first part of the tutorial, I shall introduce with some tricks and tips to decide how and when to pool data, and the tests used to check the homogeneity of variances. You can also download an Excel tool free from the link in description that will be helpful to carry out test for homogeneity of variances. First I want to give you a brief description for combined analysis of variance. Agricultural experiments are often repeated over time and space to evaluate how treatments perform across a range of environments. The experiments are often repeated for more than one growing seasons, years, locations or sites and harvests. The analysis of such experiments is commonly referred to as analysis of combined experiments. I shall give a detailed description regarding combined analysis of variance in the next tutorial. In this section, we will deal with statistical procedure for testing the equality or homogeneity of variances across the set of experiments. While in a typical agricultural experiment at a single site in a single year, treatments are presumed to affect the mean response but not the variance. If residual variances are similar across years and locations, they should be pooled to give better estimates of that common residual variance. If experiment-specific residual variances are not similar, they should not be pooled. To check homogeneity of variances, the commonly used tests is F-test and Bartlett's test. F-test is only used for experiments repeated for two years or sites or seasons or harvests. F value is computed as ratio of the two variances by keeping larger variance in numerator and smaller variance in denominator. The Bartlett's test often called the chi-square test is applied whenever more than two variances are tested. Bartlett's test usually used to verify homogeneity of variances as a condition for valid analysis of variance for combining data from a series of experiments in a genetic study for genotypes belonging to different filial generations among samples taken from two or more populations now let's do the tests for homogeneity of variances using excel tool which can be downloaded free of charge from the link provided in the description in the main page the excel sheet contains f test and bartlett's test click on f test in this example I have obtained error mean squares and error degree of freedom from ANOVA table of experiment repeated over two seasons. Enter these values in the respective data entry section. The result indicated that there is significant difference for variances obtained from experiment repeated over two seasons. It means the variances are heterogeneous and pooling data in this case is suspect. In other way this also indicates the rejection of null hypothesis. An appropriate analysis will be to run a weighted least squares analysis where the weights are reciprocals of the root mean square errors. So failure of homogeneity assumption means you need to transform the data by going through the following steps. Get weighted mean square for each set of experiment. Multiply the data of dependent variable or yield with respective weighted mean square. Now use this new variable to run a combined analysis of variance. Return to main page. Now we use Bartlett's test for homogeneity of variances with equal degree of freedom. You can enter up to 20 variances or error mean squares with the respective degree of freedom or error degree of freedom. In this example, I have already obtained error mean square values and error degree of freedom from ANOVA tables respectively from experiment repeated over three different locations. First I carried out separate analysis of variance for each location. If you want to know how to carry out analysis of variance then also watch the suggested video on simple randomized complete block design. Enter the values in respective data entry section. The result indicated that there is no significant difference for variances obtained from different locations. In other way, this also indicates the rejection of alternate hypothesis. This means the data can be pooled and run a combined analysis of variances. Return to the main page. Click on Bartlett's test for unequal degree of freedom. In this example the error mean squares with respective degree of freedom were obtained from experiment over four years. Enter the error mean squares and degree of freedom in respective data entry section. The result indicated that there is highly significant difference between the variances of experiment repeated over four years. 
This also indicate the rejection of alternate hypothesis. Use weighted variance values and multiply these values with the dependent variable or yield to obtain new parameter. Now run combined analysis of variance using the new parameter values. In the next part, I will show you how to carry out combined analysis of variance using Amstat C and Minitab. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you have any questions please feel free to ask. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified for upcoming videos.